I decided to cut my hair short again, so here we are. I don't hate it, but I don't style it, so sometimes it falls in a weird way. Like sometimes I just look like a Yorkshire pudding, so I am really happy because I've just started going to therapy. Um, I'm a few sessions in now, today was my fourth session, but um, yeah, I'm going to therapy and I'm really happy about it. I was planning to go to therapy this time last year and I just didn't get round to doing it and then a year later I'm finally going and it's 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 overdue but I'm, you know, I'm there so that's all that matters. Today I just wanted to talk about um, what's been going on, like my therapy sessions, um, how I feel about them and what I've learnt so far because um, not only is it interesting, I just want to document it for myself um, so I have something to look back on, kind of like a reference, you know? So yeah, I just wanted to talk about therapy, like how it's going and what I'm learning and yeah, because I'm just so happy I'm going and um, I would like to share that please. The reason I wanted to go to therapy in the first place is because first of all I wasn't very like stable and I just wanted um, I just wanted help basically and then another reason is that I just I want a better understanding of myself I want to learn more about myself why I do the things I do um, and just have a different like a new perspective that's pretty much it that's pretty much why I'm going I was talking to my therapist about my my upbringing and my mum and my dad and how they were as people I'm a very angry person I have a very short temper um, I lose my cool very quickly and it's because of my dad. My dad is a very uh, short-tempered man, he gets frustrated, he gets stressed very easily, just a very uh, short fuse. And I said to her, like, I've, you know, I think I've inherited that trait because I've, I've carried it my whole life, I've always been the stressy one in the family and, and you know, um, yeah, I've inherited it and I've always thought this by the way. And then she said to me, I don't actually think it's possible to like inherit uh, like like a short temper. I don't really think it's something that is like running through your blood. She said maybe it's just down to emulating his behaviour. You know, after twenty years, that's obviously going to rub off on you. Like it doesn't it doesn't have to be running through your bloodstream. And I was like, holy shit. <laughs> My entire life, I've always thought I inherited like anger from my dad. And I didn't, re I never thought, like it never occurred to me that, oh, maybe I'm just like copying his behavior after all these years. Like, hello, it's just such, like I never realized that. Like I never even, I never even thought that. I did say to my therapist that I, um, I work really well when I have like a visual aid. I like metaphors because they, they just help me envision it in my head. And I basically said, sometimes I feel like I'm like drowning and like I need to come up for air. And the only way I can come up for air is by like, you know, making a mistake or doing something stupid. And um, she basically used that. She used my metaphor and made it better. <laughs> Because I said to her, I feel like I'm not, I'm not drowning at this point. I feel like I'm, I'm out of the water and I'm catching my breath. And she said, that's fine. But what we need to do is get you to, need to get you to the, to the shore. <laughs> like we need to, we need to wash you up. Uh, <laughs> because while you're coming up for air, you're still in the water. You're still in the realm of, uh, what got you there in the first place. And um, your head's above the water, you know. So, um, you're still quite swamped with with everything and the idea is just to get you to the get you to the bank so once you do get to the bank you can kind of take a step back and just look at look what got you there and look why and how and just yeah just look at it just take a step back and look so yeah that's basically what I'm trying to do at the moment and what I'm thinking about is trying to get to the bank um, I don't know what the bank holds, <laughs> but um, yeah, I really like that metaphor a lot because as she was saying it, it was it was really making sense in my head. So another thing I do is I get assigned like homework. For the past two weeks, I've been doing like a mood diary. That was like my assignment, and I find that the mood diaries really help because it kind of we go through it in in my session and we just kind of talk about why those why these like 
feelings and behaviors how they connect and what's triggering what it's really interesting like I really do love CBT because it's so like analytical and it reminds me of um, I used to love English a lot I used to love analyzing like stories and poems and it kind of reminds me like that except instead of analyzing of mice and men for GCSE it's like analyzing my life <laughs> Oh yeah, I want to talk about this because this was something that was really interesting to me today. Um, so she made up this kind of like, like a flow chart and basically it's a way to kind of understand what's going on in the cycle, the cycle of my life, like what's bringing me here, what's making me feel the way I do and stuff and it's about understanding the cycle but also breaking it so it starts at the top and at the top it says early experiences and that's basically just i think the way she described it was that um no one is born with depression no one's born with anxiety so it's starting from the very beginning and then easing your way into um how things like depression and anxiety came about because no one's born with it you know so how does it where does it evolve from? And then the tier below says core beliefs. And this is like, I feel like I'm in school again. I feel like I'm revising. Core beliefs are basically um, the core traits that you believe are within yourself. So things that you've learned from, from like a really young age, um, like not being good enough and um, feeling lonely and stuff like that. And then the one below that says rules for living. And this is basically, this one fucked me up. <laughs> Rules for living is basically about being under certain control and uh, like for example, like you're young, you're a kid and you go to school, say you have issues at home and you kind of figure out that the only way that you get praise from your parents is if you do well on a test and stuff like that and it's kind of just about like abiding, kind of like being in, a, being in a maze, it's kind of figuring out what bits aren't your dead ends, like which ways not to go and which ways, yeah. So after you have these three tiers it goes into a cycle, um, so underneath rules for living it says trigger and this is basically what, what's, what, what triggers you. <laughs> fucking triggered and after that it goes into negative predictions like anxiety and stuff like that and then it goes into unhelpful behaviors so this is when it goes into like um the uh the acting upon part like this is the bit that is like physical um and then after that it says reinforce core beliefs so that goes back to this bit so it's about um thinking about the things that make you you um probably not in the best light and then that goes on to self criticizing thoughts and then it goes on to low mood and then it goes back to trigger and then it goes around and I really resonated with it like as she was explaining it I was just like oh. <laughs> like I really resonated with it and I really feel like this is gonna help and I, I think I might just like annotate it um, but yeah that was really interesting because it, it literally is a cycle like the reason we feel so shit all the time the reason we feel the way we do about ourselves is because it's because of a cycle and it, honestly it's just about breaking the cycle but obviously you need to figure out what the cycle is first and that's why I find that really helpful and then for next week I have to fill out this um, sheet so I've taken this home with me and it's basically a thought record sheet it's really um it's just very analytical which I really like so it just splits it up into categories like situation unhelpful thoughts um, feelings and emotions what emotion did I feel and stuff like that it just basically um, it helps to diffuse uh, the problems and the feelings and um, brings it back down to a way that, that I can understand and that my therapist can help me understand but yeah that's pretty much it long story short I'm really enjoying therapy at the moment um, yeah really like it it's really rewarding and um, I can't wait to get get on that shore <laughs> I fucking love that metaphor. I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna let that go. Excuse me. That's it really. That's all I really wanted to talk about. I just wanted to document my time in therapy and um, yeah, like I said, I'm really enjoying it. So that's good. What's up? You stink like tuna. What's up? Andy's gone. I'm gonna go now. See you later. Bye, you big fat grapes. <laughs>